G'day guys, thanks very much for joining us once again for In The Car With Mossy. Today, well, I tell you what, we've got an absolute treat. It's gonna be a quick episode because we have the fastest woman that Australia has ever seen over the 100 meters. She is going to push herself over the next few years to go sub 11, we'll find out about that, I guess. And uh, today, we've got none other than Melissa Breen. Mel Breen, welcome aboard In The oh, Car With Mossy. Thank you, it's wonderful yeah. to be here on this Stinking hot day. Yeah, stinging hot day. <laughs> Let's crank the air cool. So what was life like growing up around here? Um, I live about 30 minutes from here. So yeah. the, there's like Canberra split into north side, which is where we are now, and south side. Yeah, so right. I'm south side. <laughs> okay, so yeah, much better being down the south. Oh uh, yeah, I live um, in a suburb called Canberra. I've lived there yep. my whole life and I did little A's at Tuggeranong and we live near the lake in yep. Tuggeranong and always going for bike rides and very active family so went for a run around the lake uh, yeah yesterday. i saw the park, park, park run. run yeah yep so i live very close um, to the lake there it was yeah my growing up was great having an older brother was he probably found me very annoying but yeah. um <laughs> what is that costume? would have been good yeah i don't know <laughs> that's what they say about me yeah. would have been good to be, become competitive i guess yeah. yeah yeah we um that's why i started doing the lays this was sort of mad he was doing little A's. Yeah, he yeah. did little A's and I just was, yeah, the annoying younger sister yeah. just following. Yeah, so at what stage, I guess, in little A's did you start to shine? And, yeah. And you knew I was on something, yeah? <laughs> yeah, like I um, started when I was six and I was just, got terrible. When I was younger, I, um, maybe when I was 12, I made the, the ALAC team. Yeah. Headed off to the Gold Coast. Um, Lauren Wells was actually on that team, for Laura Bowden back then, yeah, okay, and yeah. um, she was in the under-15 um, group. They did the multi-event there, and then the under-13 kids um, did individual events. So I actually went on my first plane trip ever, and I was sitting next to Loz. Wow. So I think it's pretty cool. We, we yeah. did train together at that stage, yep. um, didn't really know each other that well, but the first plane trip ever went on, and yeah, now we've travelled cool. the world together. Wow. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Was um, Did you have a coach then? Um, yeah, my old coach, um, Rob. Um, I was with him for a couple of years. Yep. Um, and Maddie B was actually on that trip as well. Oh, really? As coach. He's, he's scouting. Was yeah, it? exactly. Yeah. Scouting from a very young age. Yeah. So I, I headed there. I didn't make the um, A final at ALAC. I won the B final, which was tremendous for me at that stage, winning something, even yeah. though it was the, the B final. And I guess in 2005, um, after I just turned 15, I ran 1188. Um, at Melbourne PSG and that was like, okay, so let's yeah, let's do this. <laughs> That's right, yeah. What, what would you have done, I guess, in this time if you weren't in athletics? Oh, goodness. I think I might have been a teacher. Yeah, okay. Cool. That's why I did start studying at uni yeah. in 2009. Yeah, where, I lasted were, you, where were you studying? At UC. At UC I yeah. lasted a semester. How did you go? Um, I passed my two subjects, I did. Well, these are degrees. Yeah, they are. Say. And then I... Um, it wasn't right, totally for, yeah, for me yeah. <laughs> at that stage. Do you want to tell you how I went my first year of uni? <laughs> to doing a Bachelor of Business, which is far from where I'm at at the moment. Yeah. I got uh, four subjects, all fails. Oh. Yeah. But look at me now, <laughs> sitting in a car with Mel Green. Yeah, yeah so I went there and uh, I did the Benny St. Lawrence actually. Went there and to uni and just party. Yeah. Uh, even though I yeah, think he, was good doing that. I think he did well in the... His, his results or did okay but yeah yeah i was did the opposite but yeah so you started doing teaching is that yeah. something you might go back to eventually um i think so yeah, yeah. or working towards strength conditioning yes as well i yeah. think that there's just a a big gap so it's quite a male dominated yep um you must do a but, lot of work in the gym in yeah, fact you do i've seen that, that. I don't do that. Like I, well, you posted on yeah, yeah. I don't do too much. I don't do any upper body. And no one believes me when I Where say that. Where do you get those guns I, like that? Just natural. Just yeah. Very lucky. Yeah. Very grateful for my two parents that aren't muscly at all, but managed to produce Somehow, this. Somehow, yeah. Some of the genes are tweaked, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I do. We do gym twice a week. Um, okay. And it's more power-based yeah. stuff rather than just lifting really heavy things. Yeah. I think I'd just be huge if I did that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Cool. So, um, around about this time last year, 11, yeah, 11 I know. as uh, Ollie Worm said, oh my, my god! Because I didn't even know, I didn't know what time I'd run. Yeah. I had no idea and everyone was just screaming. It's actually, I think it had clocked 11 08. Yeah, it did. Yeah. That's what 11 0 something would have been nice. Yeah. But anyway, we'll worry about oh, that later. Oh, come on, my goodness. <laughs> Always wanting more. <laughs> Greedy. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, the perfect day. 
Yeah. And yeah, obviously having Ollie announce that was pretty special. He yeah, was he's a Canberra. great guy, isn't he, Ollie? Yeah, yeah. he was here in Canberra coaching um, under Matty B, so it was really special that um, he was will forever be a part of that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I know for him, yeah, talking to him about it, he feels the exact same way. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, and he couldn't have got anyone, I don't know if anyone could be more excited than Ollie. Oh, like, mate, Ollie, I guess he's he, he, he came on the live stream last year, and I'd, I'd never met him before. Yeah. And they said, yeah, he'll go well, and he did the field events, and he was just amazing. Yeah. So when the opportunity came up, you know, for him to do this year, the whole tour, it was awesome. And like, last night, we we really, I guess we could use the word shit, we said lost our <laughs> shit a few times, which was great. It was well, good fun. That's what you want. And, and it's great to have someone like him with his, um, with his athletics background as well. Yeah, and he knows... Most of the athletes do, yeah, so it just yeah. makes it a little bit more comfortable, I think. Yeah. So. Anyway, enough about you, Ollie. This is more <laughs> about Mel Green. So after the 11-11, um, how many days did it take you to fall asleep? Yeah, a while. Yeah. Yeah. I don't reckon I trained very much the next week. Yeah. yeah. It's only because in, in a previous... Because you had cameras coming at you from everywhere. Yeah, it was pretty hectic, but it was... I had to accept that that's, this is what I wanted, so now yeah. I had to... But it's obviously taken 12 months to come to terms with it which might yeah. sound a bit silly but it's completely changed my life in every yeah. positive way but it's just different now and it's is there yeah. like one thing you could point out and say well that's the biggest thing where it's changed my life where mm, the biggest thing I think you're now number one and I've yeah. never been that cool so it's just I think a part of it is accepting that you are yeah and okay. embracing that rather than the terrifying you yeah so and I know that I struggle with that but that's fine you're human you're not a robot and you don't just take things on board True. and everything becomes easy like it was a challenge but yes I didn't break it again but it took 20 years for someone to break it so it's nothing that was done easily yeah. let me show sure. absolutely absolutely and uh, you'll do it again that's for sure that's the plan <laughs> yeah so I mean obviously sub 11 that's what we're looking at yeah that's yeah. why I wake up every day like it's you have it written somewhere? Mm, like goals? Yeah. 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 A lot of people do that. Dorky, but no, no. I think it's important having goals in front of you. So yeah, every morning you wake up and you see and you're like, okay, so yeah. you've got work to do and it's going to be a challenge, but... What do you need to do, like, to just get there? Point one one. I know, so. it's really nothing. It's like... It's like oh, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot <laughs> and you do too, but what 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 would make that happen? Um, I really think it's my 10 to 20, so still being able to keep working hard without being too long on the ground yes okay and the last part of my race so that's why i'll be doing trying to do some more so, so you were strong last night yeah so, it was yeah, that was really yeah. promising so it'd yeah. be great to see the data um yep. that they collect so they do the 10 meter splits yep so be able to see that for that kind of feedback so it did feel like i was maybe slightly gaining on her at the end okay yep. it was it felt quite oh no good. you were gaining that's for sure so, i don't know whether, yeah she held off but no and then she kicked again i was like okay so it's <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine she ran awesome last night, so... Is it... I guess people, you know, there's a lot of hype around it, you know. Uh, so much. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's your relationship with Sally like? It's great. Yep. Yeah, we've, um, we haven't roomed together at a major, but we're always in the same apartment. Okay. So, since I think every, most majors that I've been on with Sal, we've always been in the same apartment. Yep. Um, it's obviously different um, domestically, you're competitors. Yes. And then when you're away on a senior team, you're on the same team. So it just changes that dynamic a little bit, but um, but we get on really well. We're very similar, I think, in a lot of ways. Okay. So we're both Virgos. People might find that a bit weird. I know. But yeah. so, you know, perfectionist, neat freaks, always expecting more. So we are extremely similar. Yes. And it's obviously great for the sport. And yes, there was so much hype. <laughs> and there will be continually through the season. It's good for the sport, great. though. That puts bums on seats. I know people uh, who wouldn't normally go, uh, yeah. they're from here, and mm. they put it up on last night. They were going for that particular reason. Yeah, and if it brings the people, then that's that's great. It's, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I mean, because there's a perception that it's a big, refused rivalry, but yeah. I, I, yeah. It's, it's sort of like, look at, I speak to Sally, and I think, you know, she couldn't hate someone, you know. But no. It's, but when she gets out there, and it's, it's different be just when like you are you, racing. Yeah. Just like you, it is like game on. You know? Yeah. There is no room for friends. Yeah. So we we have more, I have a guess, of a chance to hang out when we are away overseas and yeah. are wasting time in a village because that's yeah. all there is to do. So it's obviously different um, domestically because then you see each other race day and you're like, hey, like you talk, but it's still race day in the end. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's um, but no, we get on really well and look forward to hanging out in Beijing with her and the rest of the girls again.
So when you're in the blocks mm -hmm. and you're just about set, yeah. like, what's in your mind there? Like, what, I've got no idea, so. Um, I used to be really um, overthink everything. Yep. And it would turn a little bit too mechanical, I okay. think. So Sal taught me, stop thinking now. All you've yeah. got to do is react to the gun. Your boy knows what to do. Yeah. So when it came to racing, I took that on board. And now I just think about one cue. It's about when the um, data says set, Yes. I think about pushing my feet back into the blocks and I hold my breath. That's it. I need to go left here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You're good. You go straight. It's, okay. <laughs> it's like that in uh, camera. You Everything looks the anyway. same. Yeah, it's all exactly. greenery. Sorry, go back. Nuts. Yeah, so I'm, all I'm thinking about is making sure that my feet are pushed into the blocks and I'm just waiting for that gun. And then I think about pushing and then punching my knee and then that's it. Don't, don't look up too quick. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so one thing I remember from uni and exercise, exercise science, so yeah. we did um, sprint coaching stuff. Yeah, look down and you're slowly coming up. Yeah, some people get caught up with like just having their head down and they think no. that's driving, no. but you know, yeah, part of the puzzle. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. So what do you get up to off the uh, the track when you're not, you know, taking orders from Matty B? <laughs> <laughs> um, I enjoy shopping. I'm going with a bit of online shopping these days yeah. because I can do that from my bed. Yes. Right. Um, most Sundays, I don't. Oh, you're even... checking the 11, uh, yeah, exactly. 11 up there? Yeah. yeah. Most Sundays, I don't even get out of my pajamas. Really? So, you feel very privileged today. I'm yeah. not dressed no, in my pajamas right. yeah. <laughs> Um I wash my car every Sunday. Okay. Gee, yeah. I'll tell you what, I should have come around to your house. <laughs> yeah. I, um, yeah, I love. I love my little Audi. Yeah, it's a great Audi. Um, Very classy. Yeah, so I feel bad when it's dirty. Um, so most Sundays that's like that's that's what gets me outside. But some, most of the time I wash it in my pajamas. I was gonna say, do you wash it? Yeah, pajamas? I do. Wow. And I shampoo new pajamas. You gotta be board. careful the paparazzi. If you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I live way, way away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not telling you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, you go online shopping with yeah. clothes, clothes and yep. jewelry and stuff. Yeah, it's easy. And then favorite it's like, site? Probably ASOS. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for clothes. Um, it's then it's almost like you're not really spending money because you're doing it online. True, true. And it's with the credit cards. It is, so no it's cash. like magic money. It's yeah. like it's not disappearing. Um, yeah. I spend most arvos at the track coaching. So okay. helping Maddie B out with, with the Maddie squad. Beach yeah. Yeah. Um, which is great. I used to coach my own squad, um, but it was all becoming a bit too much. Okay. So he kind of bought me out. Yeah. Um, and then there's about 27. Matty B department, which is a pretty massive number. Yeah. So um, there's myself that helps Matt and Alex Vanderby who was doing the on-field announcing yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So it's a great team there. Um, yeah, that we've got. The and kids must get a bit of a buzz out of having you as their coach. Yeah, no, it's good fun. I enjoy it sometimes. Sometimes I'm super tired. Yeah. But you just need to forget about that when you've got a job to do. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I do. I do really enjoy that. There's a few really cool cafes around Canberra. Mm. You, you get out and you enjoy a coffee. Or... Oh, sometimes I've had a few. A lot of people aren't really into coffee. Or I'm so. not so much into coffee. The distance um, athletes, they can't get enough. Yeah, but... that's true. I have been having some issues sleeping just with the hot weather lately. Yeah. I don't have aircon at home. So I've kind of been trying to eliminate things that might keep me awake. Yep. Um, but yeah, most days go to the mall. A bit of mall rat. Yeah, mall rat down, yeah. in, down in Tuggers down nah, there. Ah, in Belco. I don't have time to go home during the day. Yeah, right, eh? So, go to the mall, have lunch. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of a very, I guess, boring life in Canberra. People could explain as that, but it's the perfect environment to get the job done. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't think I'll be here my whole life. You said it, I didn't say it. No, no, I, it's, it's easy. And I think Laws describes it that way as well. It's just really easy um, life here. Yeah, you just and we're actually driving past the University of Canberra right now. That's right. So that's where I lecture as well. You lecture um, at UC? Yeah, I lecture yeah. at UC in the Faculty of Health. So, um, exercise physiology, sports media, sports marketing. Cool. Yeah, so it's that started halfway through 2014. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's been something that's been a learning curve for me. Yeah. Speaking and lecturing for 200 Do you people. enjoy it? I do. I was pretty scared the first time. It was yeah, really daunting. Yeah. Yeah. But I really, I'm enjoying it now, and it's obviously. Um, Tell me where do I go left or right? Yeah, you can go either. Okay, I'll go, go left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just constant roads, just yeah. round and round. I did, I'm surprised because there was a sign there that said shops, and that way, and you've. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought we might have been going to the mall for more rats. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> well, here we are. We could talk forever. There's the Audi just oh, over there. Beast. We're back Audi here beast. at the track, <laughs> the AIS and uh, Mel Breen. I'd like to thank you very much oh, for pleasure. joining me in the car with Mossy. Great, thank you. No worries. <laughs>